hope you all are doing great. Can you guys guess what we're making? Well, drum roll. It's some potato ball or aloo ball, whatever you want to call it, wherever you live. Um, this is um, my take on it, guys. Um, everyone prepares their um, potato ball differently. Um, as always, you guys know how I like to do things. I always put an ash twist to it and I love to flavor my food. So um, traditionally, making aloo ball in Guyana, there are some ingredients that I will be using here. They might not add in Guyana and that is totally fine as, um, you know, everyone put their own twist and take to recipes. No um, one recipe should be made specifically. You can add whatever, spice it up to your take and, um, you know, your taste and what your family like. This is simply how I prepare mine and my family loves it and enjoy it. Um, if you guys never try your potato ball this way, I highly recommend you give it a try. If you like what, like what, you know, the taste, um, run with it. If not, you can always go back to the basic um, traditional ways of making it. And nothing is wrong with traditional ways. There are roots and that is where we come from. And, you know, I am all for preserving and um, bigging up our traditional recipes. But of course, as we grow as a person, recipe evolves and we evolves with it too, you know. And, you know, you guys know, your girl Ash loves to put her take on all recipes that she does. So this recipe was requested a while now, a very long while now, by one of my um, beautiful supporter here, and her name is Mina um, Parsnot. Um, hun, this is for you. This is my take on um, potato ball. Okay, guys, so let's get into the ingredients. Here I have um, two medium potato. I already went ahead and um, you know take the skin off. I have to wash it and dice it up. I am also using some red bell pepper some onions chopped up finely. I have here some cilantro chopped up finely. Everything that I'm putting into this potato ball is chopped very, very thin or finely. I have here some scallions, some hot weary, weary pepper guys, and feel free to add um, any sort of hot pepper you like, or you can omit it if you're not into spicy foods. And I have here uh, my green seasoning. I am also using some roasted jeera. I have here some salt and I have here some cornstarch. And um, if you do not have cornstarch, you can use potato um, starch. If you do not have potato starch, just eliminate it altogether. I just like that it brings the mixture together, you know, well formed and nice. Um, you can eliminate it too, guys. Feel free to do that. One ingredient that I'm adding that that generally not added to potato ball, um, it's some mozzarella cheese. My family like that cheesiness to it, guys. Um, feel free to add it or omit it but it do give the potato ball a nice flavor. Um, for my batter to fry the um, potato ball in, I have here two eggs, some flour, and I'm using some of my green seasoning and some yellow food coloring. So guys, you know, I love to flavor everything. So every bite should um, be very flavorful and delicious. Here is my water to start boiling the potato. So I'm gonna chop my potato back, chop it up to the size I'm looking for, and then we're gonna start to cook our potato and bring this whole recipe together to life, guys, to life. Okay, guys, I went ahead and cut my potato up. This is the size I went ahead and cut it up to, you know, nice chunk size. Um, I put it in water and of course it has to be submerged in the water and I'm going to go ahead and add our salt. I love to salt my water and potato. I taste it um, when I'm mixing the mixture. If it needs more, I always add more. But I feel like when you add the salt here, it penetrates the potato better and you know, the potato is very flavorful. So we're gonna bring this up to a boil. I'm going to show you when our potato is ready and then we're gonna get to the next step. Okay guys, so this is what our finished boiled potato looks like. Um, I got caught up and forgot to video when I was pulling it off. But guys, it's just basically if you're going to boil potato, um, you know, when the knife goes in very easily, it's finished. So we're going to start um, mash our potato up and start seasoning it and start the frying process. So I'm going in there. Ugh, put some muscle into it, guys. My workout. <laughs> so we're just looking to, you know, mash this down, break it down, like if you're gonna be making um, mashed potato or potato choka, that sense. Mash everything up. 
And guys, remember, everything I'm using will be listed in the uh, description box below, along with the measurements and the ingredients that I use. Ah, work it, Ash. So I'm just topping off this, cleaning it off. And we're going to start season our potato. In goes our roasted jira. And I'm going to add all my condiments that I had cut up. In goes our green seasoning. In goes our bell pepper, our onion, our hot pepper, our scallion, and our cilantro. Get everything in there, guys. a spoon and we're going to start mix this in and I'm gonna add our cheese here guys and have everything mixed in well and nice here and look how beautiful and vibrant the color is you know my thing is we eat with our eyes first so if it looks appetizing and nice we're gonna definitely try it right what a perfect way to have kids try stuff that they never tried before. And right about now, you can go ahead and taste this mixture. If it needs more salt, you can add your salt here. Let me taste, guys. Mm. It's tasting delish. So um, for me, it needs a little bit of salt. And not a lot, guys. Just like half a teaspoon of salt I'm going to add here. And I'm going to go ahead and add our potato. Not our potato, our cornstarch. But you can use potato starch here too. And for this process, I'm going in with my hands. And make sure everything is well combined nicely here, guys. So now we're going to start rolling these out and we can put a little bit of oil on our hands here. So, you know, nothing sticks, but um, you don't necessarily have to. So I'm going to start rolling this out, guys. And this depends on how small or how big you want to do it. This is like about half a tablespoon of mixture I have here. We're going to start forming them into nice balls and I'm going to get all of this finish. Then I'm going to go ahead and prepare our batter and we're going to start frying up these delicious potato ball. Hey guys, our potato ball um, all formed and ready for frying. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and start prepare our batter. So I'm breaking our eggs. And you want to give this a good whisk. I'm going to go ahead and add our green seasoning into here. And break this up. And I forget guys, I'm going to use a little bit of water here. Not a lot, just a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and add our yellow food coloring in. I'm gonna give this a good whisk. Get everything working well incorporated and nice. And look at that vibrant color from our coloring. And we're going to go ahead and add our flour here. And we're looking for a runny batter, not a thick batter, just a runny batter. This looks good enough to eat by itself, guys. <laughs> so this is good, guys. This consistency is great. So I just went ahead and add my oil to start to heat up. And we're going to start frying this as soon as our oil is ready, guys. So see you in the next step. Okay, guys, our oil is ready for our potato 
ball so what we're gonna do i'm just taking it and i'm dipping it into our batter rolling it into our batter try to get whatever excess is off and add it to our oil and you don't want your oil to be screaming screaming hot okay guys I'm dropping it one by one into the oil. You want to make sure you coat them well. Like I mentioned, we're not looking for like a thick batter on this. We're looking for a nice even batter on it. So this is why I am doing the step of, you know, shaking off the excess batter out of it. And we do not want to overcrowd the pan, so I'm going to add about six at a time. You want to leave enough room for you to play with them and turn them around and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and start rotating them over, guys. And it's starting to achieve that nice beautiful golden brown color these excess um, float ups that we have it's from the egg so if you want to just pull them out feel free to do that And you want to be gentle with them guys remember it's potato it's very delicate you don't want to be like you know flipping them very hard in the oil and then next thing you know they break up or fall apart so these two are ready they have that beautiful golden brown color i'm going to pull them out it's crispy on the outside and i have a pan here lined with paper towel i'm just draining them onto it So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest, guys. And then I'm going to come back and break into it so you can see the texture and what it's looking like. And here you have it, guys. Our finished potato ball played up. And as you can see, I had to drizzle some nice mango sour over this baby. Yeah. Y'all know who's going to feast out on this. <laughs> Okay, guys, let me stop being so dramatic, right? I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Nina, thank you so much for asking me to do this recipe. And I hope you try it and you enjoy it as much as my family and I enjoy it. Um, it's simply delicious. I am going to break into this nice brown crisp one. It's so crisp outside. You guys can barely hear that. It's crispy outside and I'm going to break into it. And look at that guys all the beautiful cheese the mozzarella cheese is inside and it's so warm and stringy and beautiful look at that guys all the beautiful filling all the now well not filling all the beautiful things that we added to it so i hope you guys enjoy this recipe please do not forget to like and subscribe and share it with your friends and family see you guys again soon with another great recipe thank you so much for all your love and support sending you guys a lot of kisses and hugs stay safe and blessed